Hi everybody, um, Friday morning, very cold, uh, but again, I love days like this. It's race car day. So, um, you can see the truck. Uh, we've got a nice delivery of some cars to be on the dyno, uh, being calibrated, ready for, I think, the Brick Car uh, Trophy Challenge, but we'll find out a little bit more about that. Let's go and meet Nick from JW Bird. Um, and let's uh, see what's going on. Good morning. Morning, how are you? How are you? Very well, thank you. A bit cold today. It's a, it is a bit fresh, it is a bit fresh. Hello. Welcome back to the channel. So you've probably seen Nick before. Um, last year? Last year. Probably last year, last year. Ago. 12 months ago when we were, you were on your way down to Walton Park and we had the car in obviously on the dyno. So, yeah, this car actually, this is the one. Um, so, I'm going to pass the mic over to you explain why you're here. Okay. So, uh, back again. Um, Mark's very kindly let us use his dyno again today. Um, so, we're changing championships from where we were last year to a different championship this year, more of an endurance championship. So, same car as we had last year with the later Golf R engine in. And we're going to go from sort of 280, 290 brake horsepower to hopefully about 345 brake horsepower. Um, so it should be quite interesting to see the difference. We've never run one that much power yet. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. See how it handles on track. See how it handles on track. Power. Yeah, exactly. So this is a brick car we're doing. This is going to be a brick car endurance. So we've got how many cars? Too many. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we've got five Volkswagen cars yep. and then we've got one Ferrari 488 Challenge car as well. Okay, so you can run different it's not it's not a VW uh... no so it's um, so it's tiered in classes same as a VW Cup is in the power to weight side right. um, but so Ferrari challenge car 488 that goes into a different race completely but at the same weekend whereas all the Volkswagens they're gonna be in T1 which is trophy class one yeah. so that gives them up to 350 brake horsepower um, they have to run on a different tire this year from what we were on last year so it's on a treaded uh, Dunlop Dereza tyre, track day tyre. Yeah. Very, very good tyre actually, really, really good. Um, very impressed, we tried it last year uh, and it's, it's really interesting to see, very, very good. So it's gonna do two 50 minute races on the weekend, uh, 20 minute qualifying and a 20 minute free practice. Brilliant. So one driver or two driver, depending on which way they wanna go. Ah, so how many cars we got here today? Uh, we've got three cars here today. Three cars today. Um, and a further couple to come. Brilliant. So uh, let's get in on the dyno and yeah. uh, make some power. Brilliant. Make some go-go juice. I'm uh, Ben from Racing Line OEM Plus. We've been doing some race cars today for JW Bird Motorsport. So the first one's finished. Uh, we made 276 horsepower, 400 new meters of torque, so keeping that torque down as it's a race car, uh, so it's not too aggressive low down, out of the corners, that kind of thing. So that one's all done. We had a little fueling issue with that car. That's all now resolved, and now we're on to the second car, which is uh, another 2-litre TFSI with a hybrid K4 turbo. Uh, we're aiming for 325 horsepower with this car, so uh, we're just getting it all prepped and ready to go. And we'll see where we get to. Right, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Um, as you can see, today was all about race cars uh, and a little bit of obviously the calibration work that's been going on here on our dyno. We're going to uh, bring you a lot more uh, during the year when obviously these uh, cars are actually at the events. So don't forget to subscribe and thanks for tuning in.